Hey, hey, welcome to Nara. Let's go see some deer. Good morning from Nara. Just got off the subway and now we're heading up to Nara Park. Gonna check us out the street food, check out the deers. Here is so, it's quite crowded right now. You can see all the deers behind me here as well. Okay. Beautiful. We're gonna check it out. Let's go check it out now. Oh shit, it says a lot. It's, hey, 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 oi. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's, that's, that's aggressive. Oi, 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 oi. Hey, oi. <laughs> Come on, man. That's a lot. Oi. Oi! <laughs> finish, finish. <laughs> Something to remember, at the end of the day, they're still a uh, wild animal, so <laughs> you always saw that. I got attacked pretty hardcore there. Uh, I don't have a food. No food. I think as, as long as they know that you don't have any food, you, you should be fine, but pretty dangerous stuff, actually. So the thing with the deer is that there are deers that are very respectful um, of your food. So when you bow down, they do bow back to you. But then there's also those deer who are like, just give me the food. You guys saw that in the beginning of the clip when I got attacked. Well, then again, I had like 10 stacks of the food. So maybe that's not a good idea. Yeah, so essentially you don't need food to be close to the deer. Um, as long as the deer's sitting down, you'll be all right. <laughs> right? All this, or maybe this one's full. So. Your trip to Nara won't be complete until you tasted one of this mochi here. It's made locally, fresh. And so that's how they make the mochi guys, so feel free to come down here and check it out yourself. This is an amazing experience, so now I'm going to go try the mochi itself and see how it tastes like. Oh my god, look at that. It's so soft. Mmm. It's really sweet. It's got, it's got red bean in it. I can't even talk. But then again, I, I love every food, so I'm a bad, I'm a bad biased person. But you guys gotta try this. It's so good. And good afternoon from Osaka Castle. This is a great cherry blossom spot. I'm here during the spring season, so this is a perfect time to come here. There's a lot of people, a lot of tourists here. Um, you can enter the Osaka Castle, but you have to pay a little bit of a fee. But I like to stay out here because you get the view, the photo into the castle just right behind here, behind me here. So, so if you're coming down here and you're looking for the perfect spot as well, come here in the afternoon and also in the evening as well, because in the evening you've got some lights lighting up the whole street here behind me and it's actually a great place to take a photo as well, so, yeah.
Wow, you can see the castle from here now. Nice. So this is where everybody's hanging to get a good vantage point. The castle. Up the steps we go. So if you guys want to get into a like a castle, you can. You have to pay a little bit of a fee. But check out the line. It's a really long line. So if you really want to go into Osaka Castle, you might want to try to come in really, really early in the morning. Because once you get to about maybe about 7.30 in the morning or 8 o'clock, you start getting the tour bus coming in to this area and it gets really, really a little bit difficult to get in without queuing. So yeah, then that's the front of the line. It looks like it costs around 600 yen to get in. So this is as close as I get to Osaka Castle without paying. So if you wanted to come in and check it out, you can. There's a lot of history behind it. So definitely encourage you to check it out if you guys are into history stuff. <laughs> Battery ran out, but look at this. Ninja dog. Ninja dog. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs>